All right, um, just one last thing I want to talk about regression here. So we are given the best fit line is y hat equals the y-intercept plus the slope times x. Um, so here I have an example of a least squares regression line passing through uh, data which where x is the foot length and uh, y is the height measured in centimeters. So one uh, important thing to mention about the regression line is that wherever this line is, uh, somewhere along this line will always be the average of x or the mean of x comma the mean of y. So the ordered pair, that means that somewhere along here is the average of x and the average of y. Um, now you can actually calculate the least square regression line if you're given a table of values you could input it into your calculator get your descriptive statistics and to calculate the slope you could basically use the standard deviation of y over the standard deviation of x so almost like rise over run times the correlation coefficient that will give you the slope this, by the way, is given on your AP formula sheet, so you do not need to memorize this. You just need to understand what the symbols mean. Um, and to calculate the y-intercept, well, we already mentioned that the best fit line here always contains the mean of x and the mean of y. So if I actually use the best fit line and I rewrite it as um, y hat equals to a plus bx, where I actually substitute the values x and y with the average of y and the average of x. So I'm going to substitute instead of, I'm going to plug in the average of y equals to a plus b times the average of x because this is our input values and this is our output values. Now we know that on the best fit line, the average of x and average of y are always there. So if I input that directly into the equation and then I solve for a, that means subtract b um, times the average of x. If I subtract that on both sides, we actually end up with this formula right here. So the y-intercept, which is our a value, is equal to the average of y minus the slope times the average of x when I bring everything to this side. So that's actually how we get the y-intercept.